Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to South Football. If you're new here, you know what to do, subscribe and hit that notification bell. The Nigeria Super Eagles held their first training session ahead of that game against Lesotho in Uyo. I'll be looking at that, we'll also talk about uh, our ZM, it will be Anitan Taylor. They spoke ahead of the game and Nathan Taylor talked about his first training session and his experience with the Super Eagles so far. So subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification because this is here will give you Nigerian football content. And this channel about especially about the super egos um, a lot of players have trooped in um, Nathan Teller Victor Boniface if you watch the last video I give an update on that and people have been talking about the Lesotho game the Lesotho um, players are in Uyo right now they're also they also trained after the super egos and they are very very much ready for that game do you think Nigerian super egos will beat them people are saying that they might cause an upset because um, Lesotho might defend get one goal and defend and all that people have been talking Super Eagles will score three goals, four goals, seven goals, and all that. Wait to see what the results will be in the next few days. I think the game is tomorrow. Yeah, in tomorrow. We'll see what the game um, will, 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 will turn out to be tomorrow. But before we go further, let's hear from our ZM. It will be and it and tell her what they think about um, that upcoming upcoming World Cup qualifiers game against Losoto and also um, what they're expecting from the fans. All right, Nathan Teller. Welcome to the Super Eagles, your first training session with the team. How was it? Yeah, it was good. Um, obviously, I'm with a very talented um, team, a lot of very, very good players, and it's nice to be a part of them, and they've, they've welcomed me in well, so I'm happy and I'm looking forward to the upcoming games. Yeah, um, so uh, what, what's, what, what really is the excitement about, talking about you being in camp with the team? What's the key thing that's excited you? Just playing with, with the best players in the country. I always want to push myself and, and challenge myself to play with the best and be among the best. And I've got the opportunity to do that at club level and now I can do it um, at an international level, which is a big opportunity for me. Okay, so if you get to play or start on uh, on Thursday, uh, what should Nigerians and the fans expect from you? Um, someone who's direct, um, make a lot of runs in behind, um, like to get into 1v1 situations to dribble and also to score and assist to help my team. So what do you want to say to the fans? I see you officially. Yeah, see you officially on Thursday. Yeah. See you on Thursday. All right. Okay. Alex Iwobi, the World Cup qualification series starts this window. Thursday, it's versus Lesotho. Uh, you've been at the World You've been to the World Cup before. Uh, are you ready to be there again? I would like to be there again. It's not just me, but the whole team. We're going to put 100% to make sure that we give a chance and an opportunity to bring the nation joy and that sense of pride that we've represented them at the World Cup, hopefully again. Okay, you had a training session uh, just this evening. Um, how did it go? Um, today was, it wasn't too intense. We're going to prepare for Lesotho. Everyone's, everyone's arrived in camp now, so we have to be preparing. Like we did today, we'll go again tomorrow. And I'm sure we'll analyze them and hopefully get the result we need to qualify. And I'm sure you're aware the window is really tight. You play two games within 72 hours. Yeah, that's where Nigeria is. It's a blessing that we have a lot of players and a lot of quality in the side. So everyone's going to be needed. That's why it's a squad mentality, not just a starting eleven. All right. Thanks so much, Alex. Thank and you. That was him. It's time once again to flag off another qualification series for the World Cup. First training session with the boys. Talk to us about it. Um, it was actually a wonderful training session today. Um, we're all preparing for the first qualification game for the World Cup. We all want to go to the World Cup. These are um, our dreams. And uh, we know the heart of Nigeria is to see the Super Eagles be in the World Cup. And we also want to be there. So we're working hard to make sure we get all the, the points in these games and uh, focus more in the, in the next round. So right now all the boys are very prepared and uh, we're ready to, to fight. Okay. Talk to us about the pitch right here in New York. Um, actually the pitch is really looking nice. I, I mean, the, the Aquabom, the stadium, the, the all did well in taking care of the pitch. I mean, I, I'm giving a big uh, kudos to them for, for the way they're the maintaining the pitch. It's really looking nice. and. I hope we're going to get a good game here. All right, thanks so much. How are you? Thank you very much. There you have it. You've listened to our ZM, Iwobi, and also Nitan Teller. They talked about the World Cup qualifiers, the first training session with the Nigerian Super 
um, Eagles and what they expect in that game. Me personally, I think it's going to be a very difficult game because the Nigerian Super Eagles, they are a team where um, sometimes they go over, they get overconfident, especially without Victor Simen who rallies up the fans and support and all that. I think they get overconfident sometimes. A game that should be easy win, like that game against Ghana. In the World Cup qualifiers, um, in Abuja, that should have been easy. When I say easy chop, it should be like 3 or 2 0, but we saw what happened. So I'm sure that um, Joseph Pesiri will tell them that this is a very crucial game. No chance for mistakes, no chance for, you know, complete sense. We just have to take it the way it comes. We just have to take our chances and score the goals. And most importantly, don't concede. Because if the Nigerian Super Eagles concede, the defense just lose confidence and they start conceding goals. You've seen what happened against you alone. Nigerian Super Eagles, whenever, whenever they concede, it's like uh, they open a hole, a vortex hole, and they will allow more goals in. So the important thing is to score goals and don't concede. I hope uh, Francis Uzo, that's if he starts, I hope he steps up because this, I think this is his final chance in this World Cup qualifiers. If he starts, and this is his final chance to impress the fans. If he can't impress the fans now, I don't think he can ever impress the fans. That's for the attacking front. I'm very happy to see Nathan Teller. Since uh, Samuel Chukwese is not here, I'm very happy to see Nathan Teller. I hope he has the opportunity to play. Little Boniface, Terry Murphy, other attackers should be very, very well prepared for that game because we need the goals. Fans are expecting 3-0, 4-0 win for Nigeria against Lesotho tomorrow. Unuyo. Then as for the midfield, I'm very pleased to see Alex Iwobi. You heard him speak. I want him to, you know, be the creative head in that midfield to help Frank Onyeka organize that midfield and help Nigeria win against Lesotho. Then for the defense, Calvin Bassi, Semi Ajayi, and other defenders, everyone has to be at their best. It's not just Lesotho. They say it's just Lesotho. It's not just Lesotho. There's no small club in Africa. There's no small country in African football. There is no small country in African football. If you lose guard, they will shock you. If you lose guard, they will shock. I keep telling people this: you have to win all your games. Take your game seriously, as if you are playing the final. In Uyo, I'm hundred percent sure Nigeria will score goals, but they should not be complacent. Once they become complacent, they might end that game with a draw, a draw or a defeat. So I'm hoping that Joseph Pesero is telling the boys that, see, we have a tax here. We have to accomplish it. We have to win this game and win it convincingly. The next game against Zimbabwe, we travel there, beat them and beat them convincingly. If Nigeria win these two games, six points, that's all. If they lose any of these two games, it will dent their chances of qualifying for the world cup they just need to win these two games i'm sure they know that so i'd like to know your thoughts what do you think will happen tell me your scoreline prediction because me i think super eagles will be less so 3-0 in Uyo stadium um tomorrow subscribe if you haven't and click that notification bell tell me what you think i need i need your comments in this video because some of you have been commenting thanks for commenting but i need more people because if you see the amount of people watching they are not commenting i would like to know your thoughts on this video and what you think of the outcome of that particular game what, what will be the outcome of that game against um lesotho the next time guys goodbye